Hey guys, uh, I'm Aaron Lyon. I'm down here at Better Music, just doing a comparison between a couple of practice amps. We've got the Spider 4 15 watt and the Vox VT20. I'm just going to run through some of the features on the amp, on both of the amps. So both of the amps have full full range EQ, so preamp gains, uh, master volumes on, on both of them. Both have got built-in effects. Both of the amps feature auxiliary ins so that we can run backing tracks and so forth through the amps for play-alongs. They've both got uh, headphone out, so great for practicing in your room. Both amps also feature foot switches so that we can change between the effects uh, and the, the different gain stages, but they don't come with those foot switches, so you, you have to purchase them separately. The Vox is a, is a 20 watt. It does feature just a little 12A7 in the, in the preamp, so it's a, you can still get that sort of great valve sort of sound. The, the Line 6 is just solid state, but you know, they replicate that valve sound quite good, I, I think. The Vox does have some separate features. It has a power attenuator, which is great, so you can, you can turn it, the power right down if you're practicing it at home, or you can run it on, on, on full wattage when you're playing with the band. Uh, it, it does have quite a few effects. So it's got a few more effects than, than the, the Line 6. The, the Line 6 has a few effects and does them really well. Easy to adjust. A few different, a few different buttons on the front so we can move through our different gain stages. So we've got clean, crunch, metal and insane. The Vox has a similar thing with the chicken head knobs but it has a, lo a lot more different amp simulators. So we've got a clean, we've got the Cali clean, the US Blues, so we're basically copying some of our um, all-time favourite favourite amp sounds there. I'm also using the Leela AB foot switch to switch between the amps. Great foot switch, very easy to use. So to start with, we're going to do some clean sounds. I've got both the amps set on the clean channel with all the EQs at 12 o'clock. So this is what they sound like, starting with the spider. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of reverb to both of them and we'll see what it sounds like. We've got the classic Strat sound on the, the second switch, so neck and middle.
Okay, so you've heard the clean sounds on, on both the amps with their EQ all set at 12 o'clock. Now uh, we're just going to start running through some of the effects that they have. Uh, they're pretty, pretty user friendly, both of these amps. Uh, we are just able to turn on the effects simply by using these knobs here. I'm going to start with the line 6. We're looking at uh, the first effect that I have here on the clean channel is going to be the chorus flanger. So just add the amount in. So that's with a fair amount of uh, chorus and flanger on there, probably a little bit more than I'd normally use. Uh, heading on to the phaser now. Again, I'll set the phaser about midway so you can hear what it sounds like. That was with the parameter set at halfway, so it's quite a bit. We could back it off a bit. So there are, I'm not going through all of the effects, there's a lot more effects on the Vox, uh, just trying to use some of the, the more user friendly ones at the moment. Okay, there's a couple of cool uh, effects that we have on the Vox. Uh, one of the ones I like to use a little bit is just the auto wire, so we can adjust the, uh, the level, the amount that we have in there. At the moment I've just got it on halfway, so here's what it sounds like with that. The next one that I like and use a little bit of is the octave. And that's the effects and the clean channels on, on both the amps.
Now we're going to try the, the gain channel on both the amps. So I'm just using uh, one of my favorite settings. It's sort of mid-range to what the amps can do. So there is a, a lot less for um, obviously blues and, and, and that type of music, but there is also a lot more. So the, both amps can do heavier gain than what I'm about to show. So again, starting with the, the line six, I'm just gonna start with the, the neck pickup and then I'll use the bridge. So here's the line six. So now I'm just going to use the, the bridge pickup. I've got a Damasio rails pickup in there. So this is pretty much like a humbucker. So this is what it sounds like. That's it guys, so uh, that's the, the Vox VT20 Plus and the Line 6 Spider 4 15 watt. So both great amps, really usable features. Uh, I've used them in different settings before. They're, they're great practice amps. Loud enough to play with a band, so definitely can check them out. Thank you. So you're at the gig and the next song calls for a Telecaster and Open G. This is how easy it is. So select the tuning control to open G, select the modeling control to telecast.